All right, perfect. Okay, so this is Nairu um, making this video for my guildmates, but I figure other people might see it as well. Um, I am just a little bit about myself. Level 60 Templar currently on the Scar Bar or Scary Bear, as I like to call it, server. Um, currently ranked number nine and the uh, Inquisitor list, because um, I do like to DPS quite a bit as well, and have been getting a lot of questions about how I do so much DPS, and, you know, oh my god, you're just overpowered and overgeared, and blah blah blah, and um, I am going to show you guys... Um, DPS rating, I'm not even fucking ranked, like, <laughs> like, uh, you know, I, I just, I, I'm not, I'm not even in the top 100, um, of people on the server, probably in the 200s or so, um, you know, I, I, I am, I am good at what I do, not just because of, you know, gear or what have you, but because I've been doing this for a long time, so, um, you know, I'm just gonna do a little 101 video right now, <clears throat> And kind of go over um, some some important things for for DPS to know. Um, mainly, you know, knowing your skills in and out is is a huge thing. Um, having situational awareness, of course, is is important in any game, um, especially for DPS because we're always the squishiest. Um, and then just you know, not being a baby about fucking practicing and getting better. Um, you know, I'll be open to criticism, be open to learning new things. Um, you know, I, I'm pretty knowledgeable about the game, but, uh, you know, I have people, guildmates teaching me things all the time. So, um, you know, just, just be open, uh, to, to figuring out your shit and getting better. Um, so the first thing, you know, I want to go over is your skills, obviously, um, you know, for myself, uh, you know, I've got my thunder smite is going to, uh, to, to generate, um, holy power so that I can get my blade of retribution going. Same thing with lightning verdict, same thing with forked lightning. Those are my, my big ones. Um, blade of retribution, single target DPS, storm of vengeance, uh, multi-target DPS, holy grasp to pull people closer to me, um, and help out the tank because in uh, DPS form it uh, doesn't do threat and then my celestial seed I use um, to help out as far as getting around faster in mobility I take less damage uh, I have a talent that pops up a little bit additional crit when I use it as well uh, righteous might that's just my big old buff for myself for slock I've got my interrupt and then dark knight is just my passive it just gives me a little extra something something here and there got my little nice 20 percent pro uh, proc to uh, make my holy my, my uh, blade of retribution free for a few shots, which is super fucking fun. Um, but that's, that's basically the, the breakdown for, for the Inquisitor class, for what I do. Um, and so I, I know everything pretty well as far as what everything is going to do for me. Um, but you know, you know, I look at my gear. Yeah, I have good gear. But at the end of the day, you know, gear isn't God. Um, it's gonna play a big part of what you do. But really knowing your skills, knowing your rotation, um, that's gonna get you where you need to go. Um, that's that's any like I said, it's most um, RPG, you know, MMO RPGs. That's not just World of Kings, uh, but obviously we're focusing on World of Kings right now. Um, the second thing that's gonna be big for you guys, just focus on one class for now. Um, I look at Reddit every day. And people are always just like, what's the what's the best DPS class in the game? And it literally just fuck off with that nonsense. The best DPS class in the game is what you're good at, what you enjoy, as long as you fucking practice and know what you're doing. Um, you have to actually try. You can't just, this is an easy mode. This is a game that's fair, like a little bit complicated. It's it's not like outlandishly complicated, but you can theory craft. You can um, tinker with things and eke out, you know, the, the best possible DPS. So the best way to test how much damage you're doing, to figure out what's going to be the best, and to quote-unquote theorycraft a little bit is to come to the Training Dummies, which is my favorite place in the world. Um, we are over in Scarabar City. If you don't know where the Training Dummies are, up in this little corner where you see my little orange dot um, right north of the city in this uh, little gray circle here, that's going to be your test dummies. You know, when you, you just got to talk to the dummy, say, I want to hammer the timber pile, and confirm and it pulls you into your own little instance which is freaking great compared to 
pretty much any other game because any other game you're going to have to compete with other people for the training dummies and you don't see exactly what's going on around you and it can affect you know the, the dummies because they have their own dots and all that bullshit blah 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 it doesn't matter anyways so here you've got single target you've got multi-target you've got three targets right there um you've got a fiver you got it i think it was an eight there i don't feel like fucking counting it but there's a bunch of different training dummies we are just going to focus on single target dps because that's the most important um even in, in pve or pvp in pve the most important thing is to kill a boss you know trash is whatever just put it on autopilot for trash who gives a shit pve obviously you're going to be single targeting down enemies so you want to make sure that you're um, you're doing the most amount of damage there. Uh, I'm pretty sure all of these are, are specific or are like bosses essentially. Um, they're all going to be set to 62, um, which is great for me. So, anyways, so just pick one. Doesn't matter which one, and then you're going to just test your skills out one at a time. I'm gonna hit you know a blade there and got that one. Get that bad boy. And then, and then we're done. We're gonna, just going to stop for a second. So I'll take a look at this list over here. So the nice thing is it's going to show you, and you can see up in, uh, up in this box here, my DPS is just kind of ticking down, um, obviously, because the time is ticking forward. It doesn't really make a difference right now. But it gives you the breakdown of how much damage each skill is doing. And this is important because you want to focus on, on the skills that are going to give you the most amount of damage and how you go about getting to that point. So for uh, for me, it's my Blade of Retribution. That's going to be the number one most amount of damage that I can do. So then I have to say to myself, how do I get to that? How do I get to spamming the shit out of that button and just, and just getting to that point? So obviously my Forked Lightning, my Lightning Verdict, and my Thunder Smite are going to be lower amounts of damage, but... Um, they're going to generate the holy power, the combo points that I need to get the Blade of Retribution going. So um, what we do, you just go up here and we figure out, okay, so priority list. So the priority is, is Blade of Retribution number one, right? And then Forked Lightning does the second most amount of damage, that's priority number two. Lightning Verdict does the third amount of damage, that's priority number three. Thunder Smite does the fourth most amount of damage, that's priority number four. So when we go up to the dummy, that's exactly the priority that we're going to set. And you're just going to hit your buttons in that order whenever they come up, whenever you, you are able to. My DPS is going to be kind of low because we sat here for a fucking while. But that's just going to be your rotation. It's super simple. You know, you throw in, like for myself, I throw in my grip every once in a while just to do a little extra damage. If I need to, you know, if there's, if there, I'm on a fight where I don't have anything to pull, you know, just throw it on the boss. It doesn't matter. Uh, for me, it doesn't taunt anything, so it doesn't make a difference. Um, if you have skills like that where they're mostly utility, but you don't need the utility for the fight, just throw them out there. You know, throw, you know, you get a little extra DPS out of it here and there. Um, if you're on a fight where it is a utility fight, save it because the fight mechanics are more important than doing high-end damage. Um, I know when I'm in tank mode, I like to throw my shield out there quite a bit, but on fights when I have to have an interrupt ready, you know, most of the time you, when you're doing dungeons, DPS are just on autopilot because they're fucking assholes, um, then you just save it for, you know, for that point in time. Um, you know, right now, eh, I've got it back up to 3,500. I'm not using my ult right now because I want to save it for when I'm actually doing... Um, real content that takes a little while to charge uh, but you can see you know you can you can get a good amount of damage that's a good that's a pretty good rotation there um, again obviously my blade or my blade of retribution is going to be um, doing the most amount of damage thunder smite has moved up as far as the amount of damage done simply because it gets used more than lightning verdict and forked lightning but we know that those two da attacks do more damage by themselves because of just throwing it out there once so okay so we we know what our rotation is um we know what we need to do we, um now we're gonna look at um how to set up an auto rotation so this is really helpful um 
on certain fights when you're just like farming and what have you. Uh, so I have I actually have it set up on my hot bar over here. But if, for those who don't, um, which I recommend putting it on your hot bar so you can switch between like AOE and single target um, setups, uh, just go over to your skills and then up in the top left corner auto combat setting. And then right over here above the skills it says default and then you've got a little cross there and I have it set default as my single target I have an AOE DPS one as well uh, but I'm just gonna look at the default actually you know what? I'm gonna so I don't fuck up that I'm gonna just grab a different one it doesn't make a difference all right so um, to set this up as far as what you want your rotation to be you just hit clear and then for myself um, I know Blade of Retribution is going to be my number one. That's what I want to spam the most. Uh, Forked Lightning is going to be my number two because that's my number two DPS. Lightning Verdict is my number three DPS. Thunder Smite is my number four. Holy Grasp is going to be my number five because remember, we're just going to throw that out every once in a while um, just, just for a little extra DPS. And that's it. Um, I'm not going to select Storm of Vengeance because I don't want that to proc. It uses the same amount of, of uh, holy power, those combo points that Blade of Retribution does, and I don't want it to go off and steal it away from Blade of Retribution because it doesn't do as much damage. It's not helping me. Uh, Celestial Steed, I, I, I'm going to use that myself when it pops up. I don't want it because, again, it's a situational item, more so than even Holy Grasp. Um, and that's it. And then, basically, let's... Uh just going to set this to auto, hit the auto button, and it's going to basically just do what I was doing before. Um, it's, it's a little bit slower on the gun as far as hitting that, like hitting the buttons. You see, um, when the holy power pops, um, blade retribution does sit there, um, lit up for you know, like half a second. Um, so if you, if you can do it yourself, just hit it yourself. Um, you're going to always do more DPS actually doing it than you are on autopilot. Um, but that's, that's about it. It's pretty simple. I guess it's just doing the research, putting the time in and, and practicing, you know, figuring it out. Uh, there's not a lot of guides and what have you for this game so far. There's 27 classes, I think. So it's going to be a lot. If you want to be good, you're going to have to put the work in yourself. You can't be, you know, whining to other people to help you every time. Um, but uh, as far as like your specific classes rotation, but like I said, this is just a little bit of a guide to show you how to do it, how to do it yourself. Um, as far as like, you know, like I mentioned something like situational awareness before, um, that's just, you know, there's this little corner over here with all these skills. Situational awareness is just looking at the whole rest of the screen, you know, getting out of, getting out of, uh, AOEs and, you know, the red circles on the floor, making sure you're not dead because, you know, low DPS over no DPS always. If you're, if you're, you know, looking really close at the floor, you know, horizontally, you're not fucking DPSing. <laughs> it's not helping anybody. Um, so stay alert, stay focused and, uh, just kill stuff because killing stuff is fun, you know, and, and uh, happy hunting. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. So, uh, good, uh, good, goodbye.